Hi guys, it's Nikki with Sweet Bee Farms. I hope you're all having a great day. I'm gonna do just a really quick inspection on one of my new hives, um, but the main thing I want to accomplish today is I wanna check these ladies for Varroa mites. So I thought I'd bring you along and show you how I do that. Um, now there are a couple methods to checking for Varroa mites. I'm gonna be doing the wash method today. Um, the downside to the method that I'm using is that we are going to sacrifice the bees in this process, but um, mites are terrible for a colony. It can really weaken them and make it difficult to overwinter so they are being sacrificed for the greater good what you're gonna need if you're gonna do this method is you're gonna need a container to catch your bees in a one half cup measuring cup a queen clip and a container to do the wash this is a Varroa easy check these are pretty inexpensive I think this one was around 20 bucks um, you do not have to use these. You can do the same thing with a mason jar, and I believe it's a 1 8 inch screen on the top. And you're going to need a washing fluid, and I use isopropyl alcohol for this. Okay, so we're going to get started. The first thing I'm going to do is just give the bees a little bit of smoke here at the entrance. And I'm going to do a really just overall basic quick inspection of this hive. Um, the main thing though is I am looking for my queen. I want to isolate the queen because we're using the wash method and those bees will not make it through the wash that I want to make sure that she's not in with the sample that I use. And these ladies look busy. I'm just going to remove their feeder. Now this box here, just covering um, the feeder, it's an empty box. Just give them a little bit more smoke. They haven't really propolized everything yet. So I'm just quickly going to kind of go through this high frame by frame and again try to find my queen. And when I do find her, I'm going to isolate her in the queen clip so that way when I get my sample again, she's not in there. quite a bit of their pollen patties, so these girls are doing well. Let me give them some new pollen patties. Now, there's, I don't expect much to be on these outer frames. There's really only a few bees. They haven't started drawing anything out on there. On there. I hadn't really expected them to. Just double checking to make sure she's not on here. Usually your queen's not gonna be on some of your outer frames, but it's not impossible, so always just double check. Lots of drones in here. Now this frame they've started drawing out. Lots of syrup, pollen. I'm trying to see if I see any eggs in these cells. Just 
looks like syrup and pollen. Lots of work on this frame. It's not completely drawn out, but they have a lot of nectar and syrup in here. Okay, so now once we have our queen isolated and we know she's not going to be part of our sample, we're going to grab a frame of bees and we're going to shake them into this container here so we can get our sample. So I've got a frame of bees here. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to shake them down into this container. Might get a little bit mad. And I'm going to get my half of a cup. I'm going to put them into the solution. And once I have them up, I'm just going to take this container and put it right back to the hive. They'll go right back in. I'm going to take my Varroa check and I'm going to shake this up for 60 seconds. Once we get done, we will open our container, remove our bees, and you'll be able to see the mites that are left in the bottom of the container here. Now how you get your mite count is you're going to take that number divide it by three, and that's gonna give you how many mites you have per 100 bees in your hive.